Morning, Somebody that we would go to or talk to and they post about things that we had some way to work. But when we think about Jesus, when we think about what a friend we have to give, we think about the friend of steroids. Amen. Amen. What a mighty God we serve. So we can make any and everything to be in prayer. Amen. Amen. What a mighty God we serve. This morning I'll be reading from the book of Isaiah. Chapter 42, verses 1 to 8. The servant of the Lord. Here is my servant whom I have hoped, my chosen one in whom I have delight. I will put my spirit on him, and he will bring justice to the nations. He will not shout or cry out or raise his voice in the streets. A bruised reed will not break, nor a smoldering wick. He will not slip out. In faithfulness, he will bring forth justice. He will not falter or be discouraged till he establishes justice and order. In his law, the islands were put well forward. This is what God the Lord said. He who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spread out the earth and all that comes up. Who gives credit to his people and life to those who love him? I, the Lord, have called you in righteousness. I will take hold of your people. I will keep you in vain with your cover for the people and a light for the Gentiles. To open eyes that are blind, to bring out the surprise that you release from the dungeons those who sit in darkness. I am the Lord. That is my name. I will not give my glory to another. Praise the Lord. Amen. The word is well this morning. Amen. Amen. Please, God, we give the glory to the great. Father God, your children are here to give this word to us. You will be born today, Father God. But we are not to friends. And Lord, this is a day that you have made. And any day, Father, you may have this wonderful day. And again, the choice of the Father God. I will take this every day of the year, Father God, because this is the day that you chose. So, Father God, we come here with our confidence, Father God, to give you praise and honor, Father God, for the good and gracious God that you are. The Father that we can go to at any time, with up our prayers and our burdens and our strength. And the faith of God who will listen to our prayers, but not only this, but a God who cares about what's going on in our lives. And a God who answers prayer. So, what am I going to say this morning? Oh, God, pray that we can have communities. We just thank you for all your goodness and all your blessings. So please join me in the Lord's prayers for the church. Our Father, who are in heaven, our God in our name, our kingdom come, our will be done on earth as it is. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us our debts, as we give our enemy. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And our name is the kingdom. And the Father, and the glory of the Lord. Let the church see the man. Amen. 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 Please stand and join us in our moving the hymn this morning. Page 288. Page 
Uh-huh. <laughs> Thank you. 
Right. I have the FYI and Burnham. The Burnham in the spring have produced a documentary called Black Ice. And it's about the National Hockey League and how uh, African Americans, people of color, have found this in their lives. Kind of struggling to tell you to um, to start finance, it's the homecoming services were held on Thursday, 7th July, at the Burke Funeral Home in Andover with sister Lisa Martin. Continue to keep Lisa's family in your prayers. On this Mission Sunday, please remember to support your favorite mission. For the general mission, respond with a financial donation along with their normal tithes. With gratefulness and thankfulness, the mission's ministry. And over Farmers Market opened Saturday from 9 to 1, 9 a.m. to 1, and is looking for Andover Baptist Church volunteers. Jennifer Bouchard from the Farmers Market could use us on August 19th for two and a half hours or give us a full day to volunteer as a church community to cover all volunteer stops. Either it is a great outreach opportunity for ABC to build awareness and develop stronger ties in the annual community. Once we decide there is a sign-up link for us to use, please let's get involved. The email is abc and at gmail.com. So let us know if you're interested in participating. Put farmers market volunteer in the subject line. Additional details will follow. July birthdays, we have Thelma Cyprian and Tyrone Scott, who's on the 12. Myself, that's on the 15. <laughs> on the, the schedule, sorry, for the week of 9 July is the Zoom Bible study on Wednesday at 6.30. I tell you, I had a glass last Wednesday. So I'm going to have to make this part of my regular weekly time. Uh, it's wonderful being able to speak with everybody about the Gospels and not just hear the Gospels. <laughs> Prayers for healing and comfort. We pray for the family of Sister Lisa Martin. Again. Elvira Hubbard, Mother Carol, Mother Dorothy Craig, students, faculty, parents, and administration, teacher of high school, Christine Michelini, teacher Lockhart, Sandy, and Rihanna, Andrea Wynn, Carolyn Lewis, and Victor Williams. And finally, you're in the prayer from the pastor and the board of diabetes. Please email ABC, that's End of Baptist Church, ABC, End of Baptist, at gmail.com. Thank you very much. Amen, brothers and sisters. We're glad to see you here this morning. God is good. Amen. Amen. This is the time where we get to the Lord and the offertory and the sacrifice. So we join in the offertory prayer. 
Heavenly Father, we're thankful for this gift of life, gift of family, gift of love, and the gift of success, Father God, that you have blessed us with. Moreover, the eternal gift that you have blessed us with, give us salvation and everlasting life. So, Father God, our hope is to demonstrate our thankfulness to thee by giving from our tithes and offerings unto thee for that church. And bless us as we give, and bless us in our giving. In Jesus' name, we pray. And let's stick together. Amen. I can have two questions for the Lord, please. Thank <laughs> I have forgotten to mention that Black Ice is in the theaters only starting this weekend.
Lord, for what you have discovered, know that sometimes we can be different based on what he does and does not do. Us. And so we worship him when the Lord is doing good things for us. Hallelujah. When the Lord sees you, so long as you are free. So long as you But we must remember that we must forget the We must be clear. Amen. Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the afflicted. He has sent me to bind up the broken hearted, to proclaim, to proclaim liberty to captives and freedom to prisoners, to proclaim the favorable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God. To comfort all who mourn, to grant those who mourn in Zion, giving them a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of a spirit of faith. So they will be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. Then they will rebuild the ancient ruins, they will raise up the former devastation, and they will repair the ruined cities, the desolations of many generations. And strangers will stand and pasture your flocks, and foreigners will be your farmers and your vine dressers. But you will be called the priests of the Lord. 
You will be spoken of as ministers of our God. You will eat the wealth of nations and in their riches will boast. Instead of your shame, you will have a double portion. And instead of humiliation, they will shout for joy over their fortune. Therefore, they will possess a double portion in their land. Everlasting joy will be there. For I, the Lord, love justice. I hate robbery in the burnt offering, and I will faithfully give them their recompense, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them. Then their offspring will be known among the nations and their descendants in the midst of the peoples. And all who see them will recognize them because they are the offspring whom the Lord has blessed. I will rejoice greatly in the Lord. My soul will exult in my God, for he has clothed me with garments of salvation. He has wrapped me with the robe of righteousness, as a bridegroom decks himself with the garden, and as a bride adorns herself with her tomb. For as the earth brings forth its stops, and as the garden causes things sown up in it to spring up, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring up before all the nations. Let the people of God say, Amen. 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 Join me in the word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we are thankful for your holy word that feeds us in our spirit and feeds us in our lives. We can ask Father God that you will bless the preacher and as he preaches the word this morning. And we know your word is all in place. And that you will bless the hearers of your word, even some of the God is gathered here of yours, Father God. Bless them with your holy word, Father God, that they might believe. Your house, Father God, having been nurtured and having been blessed by your holy word. In fact, in the name we pray, let us all get together. Item title is Psalm 103. This this sermon after the beginning of Isaiah 61, where Isaiah writes to proclaim liberty to captives and freedom to prisoners. Pray to proclaim liberty to captives and freedom to prisoners. And today I continue with our last Sunday theme of freedom in recognition of our Fourth of July celebration and holiday that we celebrated this past week. Last Sunday we spoke from the New Testament with the Romans uh, from the Apostle Paul. And Paul was counseling the Christians who were there in Rome to act as free men. Even as they were being persecuted by the Romans for their faith in God and their faith in Jesus. And Paul was encouraging the Christian in Rome to act as free men. And in today's scripture from the book of Isaiah in the Old Testament, we find a similar theme being counseled to the Jewish people during the reign of King Hezekiah. This was a harsh period of history for the Jewish people. For they were being invaded by Assyria. And Assyria had ravaged the Judean countryside. Jerusalem itself almost succumbed and it almost fell to the ravaging of King Hezekiah. And in the midst of all this turmoil, Isaiah is preaching to the Jewish people a message of hope and a message of deliverance and a message of liberty and a message of freedom. So in today's chapter 61, Isaiah is bringing the good news of God given hope to the Jewish people. Isaiah is bringing a message of rescue and a message of vengeance and comfort and restoration, as you can see in verses 1 to 5. I'll read them again. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has a look to me to bring good news to the afflicted. He has sent me to bind up the broken hearted, to proclaim liberty to captives and freedom to prisoners, to proclaim the favorable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God 
to comfort all who mourn, to grant those who mourn in the sight, giving them garland instead of the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of a spirit of painting. So they will be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord that he may be glorified. God is having Isaiah speak to his people who are in captivity, and he is letting them know that hope is on the horizon because of what God has planned for them and because of who they are as being God's people. Amen. And so we should take this message on to ourselves, brother, since we're going to be like the Jewish people in the days of Isaiah. We, as Christians, are also God's people. Amen? Amen. We are God's people. And this hope that we are looking for is a hope that is delivered to us by our Heavenly Father, who is God. Amen? Amen. The hope that he sent Isaiah to give to the people of Israel at that time is the same message of hope that Israel, that uh, Isaiah is bringing to us in our times. Amen? Amen. Is indeed some aspects of our current day, modern day life where we need the hope. <laughs> where we need the hope. Yes, yes, yes. Some of our faces that we can a little bit hopeless. I have been mm -hmm. to some of you, and I know that in your spirit there is a there is a, a season of hopelessness that you are performing. Amen. Amen. By the words of Isaiah, he was by the Lord, that God, our Heavenly Father, has told that is in our lives and told that is in our lives. Amen, amen. So he brings good news to the Jewish people who are captives, amen, outside of their land. And the good news he brings to them is that God is going to return to you to your home land. God is going to rescue you from the captivity with yourself. And God is going to return you to your own land. And not only will he return you to your own land, you just be the witness in what he has promised you when he returns you to your own land. Amen. Mm -hmm. He says he is, not, he is going to take care of you who are born again right now. Amen. Amen. And we know that some of us are born again right now. We are suffering right now. And we are being in trouble right now. Maybe when we are sleeping, laying in the night, we wake up and we say, Lord, I'm not going to be able to do that. And in tears on our pillows because we have been born again because of the trials and the tribulation that we have been enduring. Amen. Amen. And so God. Send Isaiah to bring a message to those of us who are born. Amen. He says, I bring hope to all who mourn, and I and uh, I bring those who mourn in Zion, giving them a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of a spirit of fainting. And God is going to change our morning into gladness. God is going to change our morning into a mantle of praise. Amen. Amen. God has something in store for us in the midst of our trial and in the midst of our tribulation. Amen. Amen. So I can see that some of us we have a spirit of morning because it is written on our faces. Amen. But let your spirit face the Lord. Let your spirit face the promise that God has in store for his people, that there will be gladness and there will be rejoicing. He says, when the Lord returns them to their land, they will rebuild the ancient room. They will raise up the former devastation and they will repair the ruined cities, the desolations of many generations. And strangers will stand and capture your heart. And foreigners will be your congress and your congresses. And uh, you will be called the priest of the Lord. Amen. And Amen. you will be spoken of as a minister of God. Amen. We must 
agree to understand who it is we are in God's kingdom. Amen. We are more than just uh, a collection of people who gather on Sundays here in this house. We are the people of God. Amen. We are the people of God, and God has got something in store for us. Amen. God has got a big promise in store for us, and He speaks of us as ministers of our God. He speaks to us, He speaks of us as priests of the Lord. I'm going to have to turn to your neighbor and say to your neighbor, I'm a priest of the Lord. I'm a minister of the Lord. Amen. Now, how many of you came into the church this morning thinking that you, that God, would be coming to you as priests of the Lord and ministers of the Lord? How many of you raise your name? I'm going to raise my hand. Because I know I'm a priest of the Lord. I know I'm a minister of the Lord. But how many of you, brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, know that God refers to you? As his priest, and know that how I many of you know that God refers to you as his minister? Amen. Mm -hmm. It's not the title that you get from seminary that makes you a priest of the Lord. It's not the title that you get, it's not the thing that you get from seminary that makes you a minister of God. It is the anointing of Almighty God upon his sons and daughters, upon his people. God has anointed us. Amen. As his priests, yeah. God has anointed us as his ministers. Amen. Yeah. And we need to understand and begin to accept who it is we are in God's eyes. Amen. Amen. We're worried about how the neighbor across the street see them. We're worried about the person on the other side of the sidewalk. What they see when they see us. And what we should be. God has got something in store for us 
So God has not only promised his everlasting justice upon us, but he has promised upon our offspring and upon the generation of our self that comes to us. The Lord has been a blessing. Yes. Amen. Amen. And he lets us know that we are blessed by him and not only us, our offspring are blessed, and not only them, the generation after them, and not only them, the generation after them, and the generation and the generation and the generation after them. God is the blessing to us. And so Isaiah is so excited about this news that he is bringing, he called it, that he is bringing to the people, the Jewish people in captivity, that he takes so long in verse 10 to give his own personal testimony. Listen to it. He says, I will rejoice greatly in the Lord. He says, My soul will exult in my God, for he has called me. With the garments of salvation. He has left me with a robe of righteousness, and the bride who decks himself with love, and as a bride with jewels, for as the earth brings forth its strength, and as the garment is called with days and so on, to spring up, so the Lord God will call the righteousness and praise to spring up before all the nation. I mean, God, uh, Isaiah. It's just taking this first day. I'm going to look at the first step. I wanted to look at the first step. But I think it says, I know what the Lord has done for me. I know how the Lord has blessed me. I know what the Lord has given me to. I want to sit in front of your view. If, if you have to, you can stand up and give a testimony about what the Lord has done for you. And many of you could stand up and be willing to stand up and say, God, what the Lord has done for me. I know what he's done for me. I don't want to stand up and tell somebody. I don't want to stand up and tell somebody. You may not be willing to stand up and tell somebody. You may not be willing to stand up and tell somebody. You may not be willing to stand up and tell somebody. You may not be willing to stand up and tell somebody. You can't stand it if you don't know it. Amen. So first, my brothers and sisters, you have to know what your testimony is. You have to know what you have been through and who got you out of the things that you have to do. Amen. You got to know that you know what you've got to do. And God has brought you over and you got to know something that is good. And I think I want to be the Lord. If you don't know your one, you can't be sure it's If you don't know your testimony, you are unable to be sure it's great. Okay. So what is God in my life? For he has Descendants and the generation of my descendants. 
But the Lord also blessed us this green earth that He has placed us on. Yeah. And then the earth brings forth its sprouts, and a garden comes and things sold up in it to spring up. So the Lord God will have the righteousness and things to spring up before all the nations. Listen, the earth itself praises God. Uh. The grass itself springs up and praise to God. The flowers themselves spring up to praise God. The trees themselves learn to praise God. The earth praises the Lord. Just as uh, Isaiah is willing to exalt the Lord in this way, the earth itself, the creation itself, praises God. The Amen. Lord enjoys praise. The Lord is pleased with our praise. Yes. And so the Lord, as they have told us, will cause righteousness and praise to spring up before all of us in the nation. My brothers and sisters, I wish to encourage you this morning. I wish to encourage you this morning to have the spirit of our day. Amen. Have the spirit of our new original to the Lord. Have the spirit of our day. The Lord bless me from my last day. Everybody standing up, everybody. Amen. Yes. You might have to take some time to meditate on what your blessings are. Okay. Until you are a blessed person. Yeah. Yes. 
them and say, you are know, blessed. Yeah. Amen. 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 Yeah, right. Amen. Amen.
Now I want to know if there's areas to keep you from stumbling. You can make you stand in the presence of his glory. Blameless and with great joy. To the only God, our Savior, to Jesus Christ, our Lord, the glory, majesty, dominion, and authority before all time and now and forevermore. Let us sing together in honor of God. Amen. Thank you. 